Okay, hello everyone. I just want to make sure everyone can hear us. Um, so we'll give it a second so everyone can join. Let me see, we have some participants coming in. And if a brave participant wants to just put in chat, you can just let us know that the audio is coming through. Um, wait and see. Yay, we have someone. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, we still have some people coming in. Um, but we'll get started. We have a lot to get through today. Um, so first of all, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, welcome to the Give Education Getting Started webinar. So my name is Sarah and, let's see, and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Um, just a few housekeeping items to note before we get started. I do want to let you all know that this webinar is being recorded and it'll be posted in the toolkit on the Give Education site and you can find that under the resources tab. Um, if you do have questions that come up during the webinar, you can use the little Zoom question panel at the bottom, um, and you can send those over and we will get to as many as we can at the end of the webinar. Um, so we'll get started. I have Carrie and Josh on the webinar from Alumni Nations, and they've been working hard to make sure that Give Education Day is a huge success for you all this year. So I just want to welcome them. Hello, Carrie and Josh. Hello. Hi, Thank Sarah. You so much. Yeah. Um, I know, Carrie, you both want to um, say something, so I'll let you take the floor. Absolutely. Well, I will start. Hi, this is Carrie Dayton with Alumni Nations, and I just want to thank you all for attending the call today. Last year was our inaugural year, and we had a wonderful, wonderful turnout. This program was designed for public education institutions from K through 12 to really give you a day to celebrate your hard work and your efforts and really focus on bringing in those donations for public education. We see so many different giving days, but this one is really just for public education, and we're so excited to support it. It was really just designed out of the way to say, why isn't there a day to fund public education? And can we connect with our alumni? Can we connect with our current parents? Can we connect with our communities to help really raise awareness for all the good that's happening even during a pandemic. And so we're excited that you're here and we hope that you share this information with other institutions that you might know that could benefit from this. Honestly, it's a great program. It's free for you to participate in. We've given you all the toolkits and I am here as a resource if there's something that you need that you're not seeing, please email, email me at the give-education at alumninations.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you in any way that we can. Just to give you guys a little bit of a, a, a recap of what we did last year, we raised over $173,000 from over 400 unique donors across the country. We also had a wonderful grant of $15,000 and we gave away prizes to individual organizations that participated. So we're really trying to generate more buzz and make this a really profitable and fun day for you. So we look forward to your participation this year. Again, spread the word and then always let me know if there's anything that you need and I will uh, take care of it. Thanks, Sarah. Yep. Um, let's see, Josh, do you want to Hi, yeah, so uh, my name is Josh Busey and I'm the creative director and database administrator for the Omaha Central High School Foundation. I've been at the foundation for a little over six years now, but I believe this is our foundation's eighth consecutive giving day participation of some kind. And we've had a lot of success with giving days in the past. Uh, here in Omaha, there used to be a citywide Day of Giving called Omaha Gives. They actually discontinued that. And so when we found out about Give Education Day, 
we were really excited because our donors have come to kind of anticipate and they're familiar with our giving day strategy and campaign. So like every year they're in the mindset of, okay, every March there's that got giving day for the foundation that we need to be part of. So they're kind of conditioned in a way to want to participate and want to contribute. Um, similar to what Carrie mentioned, I'm here as a resource, or if you have any questions about maybe how we structured some of our campaigns in the past, I will say that something that I know Sarah is going to touch on, something that's been really successful for us in generating uh, buzz and excitement about the event is that we try to have a matching gift from a large donor. Uh, a lot of people really like the idea when we're able to say that their donation is making twice the impact and doubling thanks to a matching gift. So I think and any kind of matching gift of any size really should probably inspire your donors to want to participate in a giving day event like Give Education Day. Uh, so I'm just here as a resource. Uh, like I said, I, I think I've been a part of six of these days. Um, and so I'm excited for this year's event and I'm excited to see what kind of growth and what kind of organization to join. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to let me know. Thanks, Sarah. Awesome, thank you. Um, well, we're really excited to partner with you all again this year for the events, and we're looking forward to providing all the technical support you need as you all get ready for the big day. So if any participants or organizations have questions, if any, as anyone's getting ready, or if any supporters or donors have questions, um, you can always reach out to our support team at support at mightycause.com. Um, so if you're new this year, or if you need a refresher, a little bit about Mighty Cause. Mighty Cause is a fully functional organization fundraising suite that organizations, they can use it all year long to raise money for their causes. We've been around since 2006, and we were one of the first platforms to host giving days. So we've been running giving events for quite a while. Um, and we're really looking forward to having an awesome Give Education again this year. So let's look at the agenda. Um, so here's a look at today's agenda. We'll be going over some of the basics for Give Education Giving Day. And then we're going to walk through getting started by registering and customizing your organization page on the platform. And then at the very end, we'll do a Q&A session. So if you have a question while I'm presenting, you can just type it into your Q&A section on your Zoom dashboard and we will get to those. Okay, so the basics. Um, so Give Education is hosted by Alumni Nations and takes place this year on March 23rd. It's a 24-hour giving day that runs from midnight to midnight central. Early giving is going to start on March 1st, and registration is required for this giving day. So any 501c3 orgs or schools with an NCES code are welcome to participate. And we'll get more to registration in a little bit. Okay, so what is a giving day? For those who have not participated in the giving day before, um, a giving day is a 24 hour online fundraising marathon that aims to just bring people together to support a specific community or a cause or a space, like in this case, education. The giving day hosts organize the event and rally organizations to help raise funds for their causes. And organizations participating in the giving day utilize the resources and tools that the hosts provide, which you can find on Give Education in the toolkit. Um, to help reach out to supporters, to solicit donations, to build hype for the day of the event, and secure fundraisers and grow your network. So how giving days work. Um, just in the last slide, a giving day, since it's a unique camp campaign presented by a host organization, it provides op participants the opportunity to capitalize on the urgency of a 24-hour kind of deadline to raise the most money for your causes. So for those that participated last year, this is a really good reminder that giving days are an exciting way for you to engage your sponsors, um, reach out to new community partners, you know, try to work on something new, like maybe working on peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers or something else to help spread the word about your organization and this mission and to help raise funds for your cause. Plus with the limited time frame, it helps create a sense of urgency. So your donors are gonna tend to respond to that um, and then with the addition of prizes and things like that, it helps give you fresh messaging opportunities for your donors. Um, everyone loves, you know, contributing and helping a cause. Um, so that's always exciting. Let's see. 
So what do you need to do? So to participate and give education, you're going to first want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. And then once you're registered, you can customize your entire profile on Give Education um, and start planning your campaign. So you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And once early giving has started on March 1st, you can start promoting your campaign. Um, you can promote it before that as well if you want to build some hype. And of course, you just definitely want to push the donation ask on the big actual giving day on March 23rd. Getting started. Okay, so first things first, if you haven't done so yet, you're going to definitely need to register your organization for Give Education Day. Registration is free if you're, uh, oh, that's on. So it's free to everyone. Um, to register, you're just going to go to the Give Education, give-education.com site, and you'll click register. So it's a big button that says register. On the registration page, you then can search for your organization and create an account if you've never used Mighty Cause before. Um, if, you're, if you've used it last year, you can log in and you'll see all your data and information from last year. Once you take that step, the short registration forms appear, you fill that out, you click submit to complete, and then within 24 hours, you should receive an email with next steps to help your organization, just some tips and plannings for success. Um, after you complete your registration, you also have the ability to add additional administrators. So if there's multiple people who are going to be handling your account, um, you can add them all there. And then, of course, if any of this is overwhelming, you are always welcome to reach out to our support team. Um, support at mightycause.com if you need to write that down. Um, okay, so once you're totally registered, you've created your site, you've added whoever as an admin, um, you can start to navigate around. You've, um, if you click the little user icon in the top right, once you lock in, log in, you'll be able to um, go to your account. Your organization page is pretty much the hub of all the activity for Give Education for you. So definitely take some time to just get comfortable and move around the page. Um, when you log in, you'll automatically land in your overview section, which is where you find your to-do list, which outlines just a bunch of kind of quick next steps to take to customize your organization account. Um, you'll find metrics here as well, which comes in handy once you start raising funds under the organization page section on your dashboard. You can customize your organization page you can toggle on edit mode. It's pretty um, intuitively just there's a little button. You can turn on edit mode. You can edit your page metrics, add a goal for this year's giving day, um, which is nice because then you can enable a progress bar on your page, which donors love to see. Within the fundraising section, you're able to review any peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers that have been created for your school or organization. And you'll also find matching grants, which we'll get to in a little bit as well. So if you move along through your dashboard, you'll find a report section where you're able to preview and export different donation reports. And then under checkout, you can customize your donation form and a thank you page and receipts, which we will also talk about in a few slides. And finally, from your settings section, you can also manage your organization's settings like customizing a URL um, and any other admin panel control settings you need. Okay, so jumping into your overall profile for Give Education. So your organization page is the face of your organization for the giving day. So you're gonna wanna make sure it looks good and represents your organization or your school well. Um, just so you know, this org page link is the link that you'll also share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your Give Education page on the day of. So to share your page, you're just gonna copy and paste the URL on that specific page into whatever email or social post or wherever you choose to advertise the campaign. So as you're going through your to-do list, you'll wanna customize your page to match your brand. You can change your theme color, you can match it to your logo, you can upload media to your gallery to add some visual interest to your page. Um, and then your story and description is also really a good centerpiece. So whatever, whatever you're fundraising for that year, this year, you might want to include that, tell people where their funds are going to be put. Um, in your story, you can put your mission statement, you can add photos and videos. Um, and just a note, if you're going to do a video, you'll need to upload the video to YouTube or Vimeo first. Um, but you can embed it in your story so that people can watch it there. And this is really, this one is really where you can go in more in depth about your work and make a really strong visual appeal to your donors. 
tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of the work that you're doing. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have? Um, so yeah, so definitely just take some time customizing your page because the more work you put into it, you know, put in an hour or more, whatever you're able to do, the, the more you put into it, the better you'll probably do on the giving day. Um, and you can have the best campaign strategy in the whole world, but if your org and the page doesn't look like quite as par as keeping up, um, sometimes it's harder to keep donors engaged. So definitely put in some time into that. Okay, so editing your theme. So the first thing you'll want to do when you edit your profile is upload your organization's logo. You can use this little pencil icon to open up that section for editing. Your logo is going to want to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to fit. The logos on Mighty Cause are pretty much the same ratio that many other social media sites use. So if you use that logo as part of your Facebook or Twitter profile, you can probably use the same one on our site. Um, and then just a note, because your logo is on top of a banner image, you're just going to want to make sure those two items don't clash. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is upload a background image. You can see the background image on this one is an example of two people sitting on a couch. The background image is going to look best if it's mostly text free. Um, and we always recommend a really strong image that's representative of your organization. Of course, landscape images are going to work best. The background is a three to one aspect ratio, if that's some information that you find useful. Um, but we also offer a generic gallery of images that you can choose from. So if you're short on time, if you don't feel like any of your images are very strong, you can always select one from um, the, the database that we have. Um, you can also change your theme color to match your organization's branding. The theme color allows you to pick a consistent color. It shows throughout the entire experience, um, and it's really easy to set. You're just going to click the little palette icon in the background image, and it'll open up that section for editing. You can pick a color, or if you have a designer who works with you, you can choose a hex code um, so that it stays consistent with your brand. Okay, so the about section of your page is your huge opportunity to explain what your organization is all about. So for those who have participated previously, this is a really good opportunity to review your page from last year, to think about any different message you might want to share with donors this year. It's a chance to think about and really update your goals for this year's Give Education Day. Um, and then once you've kind of figured that out, you're going to want to start editing. To start to edit, that text editor is right in this section. So all you have to do is just click that section and you can start writing. You can add media to your story to jazz it up. You can utilize the inline text editor to add links or upload images or links to videos from YouTube or Vimeo. These will get embedded in your story. So when people visit your profile, they can check them out within that section. You can also add bulleted or numbered lists. There's all sorts of you know different editing capabilities within the spot. Um, and it's really, like I said, it's really the best opportunity to create like a really strong appeal to your donors, tell them why you need their support and show the impact of the work that you're doing. Um, another really cool piece of your profile is the ability to add custom tabs so you can add more tabs instead of just the about. If you have extra info you want to share that doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, you can create a custom separate tab to add that information to your organization. Um, and it keeps everything organized and it's really nice and easy to find. Um, ideas for custom tabs, you could do information about your upcoming event, frequently asked questions, info about staff or acknowledging different donors, um, any resources or outbound links you wanna give with more information, uh, but you can create up to three of these tabs. Okay, so the media gallery on your profile is where you're going to be able to add additional images you have on your organization page. Um, again, another really great visual way to show donors what your organization is doing, where your funds are going. Um, and just a note, the media gallery does only display images. It doesn't display videos. You're going to want to use the about section if there's any videos you want to add. Um, and then also you can add your Instagram for your organization, which will pull the pictures you already have on your Instagram. 
You can connect to your Facebook or Instagram accounts. It provides additional content, but it only lets people coming to your page know that you have those social accounts so they can easily follow and like you, which is nice. Um, you can optimize your social share settings within the settings section of your organization dashboard. So basically what that means is you can standardize the social template whenever someone shares your campaign. So you can choose what that looks like. You can make it um, consistent. So when someone shares your link on Facebook or Twitter, um, this is the image and description that is going to auto appear that you can set. So you can set a standard logo, a blurb, or hashtags that you want to populate um, when a supporter spreads the word about you. Checkout flow. Um, okay, so you're going to want to definitely customize your organization's checkout flow. This is located in the donation form in your checkout section of your dashboard. Um, the checkout flow is what your donors are going to experience when they make a donation towards your organization. So the first part to customize is going to be your checkout steps. This is probably one of the most important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's page. Um, the donation form section gives you a lot of control over the donation process for your organization on Mighty Cause. You can set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to help tie those amounts to items or services your school or organization provides. So for example, you could show that like a $100 donation funds a one school trip and a $50 donation funds a class activity. Um, and these types of descriptions for what you're asking people to donate amount, like the amounts, is really going to strengthen your appeal. People love to see where their money is going or have an idea of how much money um, it takes to do something. So within the donation form, you can also opt into collecting any additional info you might need. Um, Mighty Cause automatically connects, collects email and address information for you, but if you want to collect phone numbers or ask a specific question, like are you interested in volunteering, you can add another section to your donation form. But do note that you can only add one additional question. Um, at the top of the donation form, you can toggle your edit mode off to preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation. So you can see what your final process is going to look like and use that to edit further if needed. OK, let's see. Check out the post checkout. All right, so the thank you page section within the checkout is where you're going to go to set up your thank you page which will use the exact same um, text editor as your about and story section. So you can add text, you can add links, a video, an image, you can add a custom call to action button that tells your donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, a cool idea would be, for instance, like asking them to sign up for your email list or directing them to your PTA or your volunteer site. You can also customize your organization's donation receipt within the donation receipt section. So the customization you set appears above the tax deductible donation receipt that gets sent out automatically after a donor completes their donation on the site. So it's very customizable. Alrighty. Donations and disbursements. You can access your reports on donations and disbursements. Um, in your report section on your dashboard. So if you click on that section, it'll give you a sub menu where you can choose from your all donations report, a report on recurring donations your organization has, or you can also um, do a donation retention report, which comes in handy if you participated last year. Um, you can see who has or has not, um, which donors have been retained or not. You can also find a disbursement report here. So your donation report is available to you in real time, which is very nice, and includes information like the donor name, the email, the donation amount, and also, and you'll also know like what page they donated to. Um, on your donation report, you can also click the download the report, and download report will include much more info like designations, dedications, it has the full info in this report, the gross net amount of their donation, any additional info you set up to collect as well, such as like a phone number. Um, the disbursement section of your report allows you to see your batch disbursement history. So you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more info about that disbursement, like which donations were included in that report, um, as well as a summary of the total amount, the total associated fees, uh, net amount included in that disbursement. So all donations on the site are processed through the Mighty Cause Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Um, 
And your organization can sign up for the electronic fund transfer, which is recommended since it allows your fund to be dispersed twice a month. Uh, we can also send disbursements via check if that's something that you're more interested in, and those get sent out once a month. And there is a $5 admin fee associated with check disbursements. So we do highly recommend that you sign up for EFT. It's free, plus you get your money faster. Alrighty, matching grants. So just like Josh was saying at the beginning, matching grants and matching gifts help inspire donors to participate. So they're really important. Um, if you've never done them before, it might feel daunting, but you just, just get your toes wet, try it out. Um, and the fundraising section on your dashboard is where you'll find the matching grants tool. So um, as I'm sure many of you know, having a matching grant or a, or a corporate sponsor can go a long way in driving your donations. So um, yeah, matching grant is something your organization secures and sets up on your own. This tool allows you to display a matching grant you've worked on to secure on your organization profile page. So in our next webinar, we'll be going into more detail about why and how to secure a match. Um, but for now, uh, we'll just kind of explain a little bit. The matching grant tool is super versatile. You have a lot of options for how to structure your match. Um, while a lot of matches are one-to-one -one matches, where if someone gives that amount, the exact amount is matched. With our tool on MediCause, you can also do a two-to-one match, a three-to-one match, or you can match a person or match a percentage of each donation. So our matching grant tool does the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match. You can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So for instance, if there is a power hour available for the most individual donations, you could say that if you get 100 donations within the hour, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your organization or however your matching grant is set up to help you actually drive donation volume and traffic. It really gives like a quick call to action that lets donors know like this is what we have available. Um, it, uh, the matching grants tool also allows you to post multiple grants at one time and in sequence. So if you have a bunch of grants um, for the day, you can set them up to queue one after another, which is really cool. Um, so it might sound like a lot, but the tool itself is really pretty user friendly. And if you have a lot, and it gives you a lot of flexibility in how you structure your match. So take some time to look through, check out the matching grant tool, see the possibilities, start brainstorming. Um, and of course, if you get overwhelmed by any of the possibilities, just setting it up as a one-to-one -one match is the simplest, it's the easiest thing to do. And of course, if you have questions, you can reach out to support. And we'll go over more of this in depth on the next webinar. Okay. The last section on your dashboard is the settings. So if you click settings, it's going to open up a sub menu where you can update your organization settings. So this is where you can customize your organization's URL. Um, you can manage your EFT. You can update your legal information if needed and customize your social sharing. So everyone who goes to your campaign is going to get a template to start with the info and the images that you provide. Um, the section setting is also where you can add or remove admins from your account. Okay, the donation widget. So every account comes with a few donation widgets that allow you to collect donations for Give Education right through your organization or your school's regular website. So you or your tech person um, can embed the widget through a secure iframe on your website and it will collect donations that you get counted towards your campaign for Give Education. The widgets will reflect the custom donation levels and descriptions you've set up as well. So you know exactly what your donors are experiencing, whether they donate through your Give Education site or through a widget on your regular website. The widget does not include any custom checkout questions and doesn't include any dedications or designations, just so you know. Um, these widgets are totally optional, but we do want to offer it as another way for you to collect funds for Give Education Day. You can collect funds the way that you want, whether it's through the widget or through your organization profile page. Let's see. Okay, so moving on from the dashboard, I want to make sure I mention the really great tools you can use as you get ready for Give Education. Um, and that is, of course, the toolkit. The toolkit is on the homepage for giveeducation.com. Um, it has a bunch of tips and tricks and FAQs and walkthroughs and has templates you can use for email and social media to help you get inspired 
help you figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, and there's more in-depth and starter info depending on what you're looking for, if it's your first year or you've done this before. Um, this is also where you're going to be able to find today's training recording as well. So once this is over, I'll upload it to the toolkit. Um, so definitely take some time to check out, browse through the toolkit, and you can always refer back to it as you're planning your campaign. And then as we start to wrap up, I want to make sure um, you all have the contact information for support in case you need it for reference. Um, of course, you have Carrie and Josh as great resource, um, great resources, but before and after the giving day, if there's anything that comes up related to your campaign, anything setting up to EFT, figuring out how to strategize, um, you can reach out to the Mighty Cause support team Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern, or you can always email support at mightycause.com. Um, okay, so then a couple more things. Our next webinar is going to be on Wednesday, February 9th at uh, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern. You can register for that through the toolkit that we've been talking about. There's a little button for registration, and we're going to discuss strategy regarding tools within your Give Education account, as well as email, social media tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your day um, with Alumni Nations. And you can, again, sign up through the toolkit. Um, and then, of course, if you haven't already done so, make sure you register to participate in Give Education Day. It's a good opportunity for marketing, a big opportunity for engagement. Um, and we've really tried to structure it in a way to make it as easy as possible for you to get up and running. So let's see if anyone has any questions. You can type them into the Q&A button. Sarah, we do have a question. Um, I'm watching the chats. The uh, PowerPoint, there was a support.mightycause.com, which certainly was where you could go. It was a library for answers, correct? And then there's the support at mightycause.com email address in case yes. you can't find the answer. Yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. And if I can take a minute, and I, I see we have a question too. Josh, could you talk to us? Because I'm, I'm watching this seminar and I feel like the, how how much time, Josh, do you think it took to get your page all set up? And sometimes it can seem overwhelming. In my experience, it, it isn't. Um, but I know if you haven't done it before, it, it might seem intimidating. How long did it take to get your page set up to a place where you were comfortable with it? Yeah, um, you know, that's a good question. I guess I would say that the the template that is provided really makes it super easy to get something up relatively quickly. Um, and actually, one of the points that I was going to make is that for us, and in an ideal scenario, you've got your page set up, you've got your pictures posted to kind of show off some of the accomplishments that you've achieved throughout the year. Ideally, you have your campaign in place, and when the giving day comes around, you've already done all of the hard work. Like you're just kind of sitting back and watching the donations come in. So there is a little bit of prep work ahead of time because you need to put stuff on your profile, connect your social media platforms if you can, kind of spread the word if you want to about the event. Um, but yeah, like I, I will say, we are on a different platform for Omaha Gives. And it was not nearly as easy or intuitive to use as the Mighty Cause one is. Uh, it's very simple to, to put information about your organization, uh, pictures from maybe accomplishments or uh, other things that you want to share. Your page is a great way to show off and answer the question why somebody should be donating to you. So it's a good way to share those things that you want your donors to know about. Um, I don't have an exact idea of how much time we spent, but I can tell you it wasn't a lot of time compared to our previous platform. It was super easy to make changes uh, and put stuff up there. Thank you, Josh. Let's see any others. Um, any fees associated with this event? Um, it is free this year. Let's see. And to be clear, I'm sorry, Sarah, to be clear, if you go to the giveeducation.com, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, Sarah. 
Oh, no, you go. You're fine. If you go to thegiveeducation.com and you go to the frequently asked questions, down at the bottom, it does give you a breakdown of the fees. There is an option. So what we're looking at is to sign up for the program. There's no cost. Uh, any credit card transaction fees are at 2.2% and a 30 a 30 cent merchant processing fee and a 3% platform fee. Alumni Nations is uh, do, does gets 1% of that, which is just basically to mitigate the cost of, of, of what we have put into this program. So we do have the option, Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong, that people can, um, uh, the, there, when, we, when you go to check out, people can, your donors can pay for this so that the organization doesn't have to. Is that correct? Yes, donors, um, they can opt in to cover the fees. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good point. In our experience, almost all of the people who donated to us last year opted to pay for their pay for the, the fees that were associated. I, I mean, almost everybody did, which was shocking for us. Like we weren't sure what to expect. So uh, I think there's a lot of potential for that to happen for, for all organizations. Yeah, that's true. Donors definitely, they definitely usually want to cover it. It's, um, let's see, any other questions are you seeing, Carrie? Yes, there was uh, another one about having, and I can't find it anymore. Um, is there a platform or a site that's already done a sample platform we can see so one would look like? Are you able to share your screen and take it over to Give Education so that we can take a look at Josh's? website or can Josh share his screen so we can show what um, like? Yeah, if Josh wants to share his screen, he should be able to. Let's put Josh on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> For me, stop share and then Josh. Okay, yeah, give me just a second. I have to say as a donor and not necessarily the person who develops the site, when I went to donate to my cause uh, last year on Give Education, it was really neat when I pulled up the page and it looked so professional. I felt like this was a very quality event that the school had put in a lot of time and effort into building their page when, when in reality, you know, it, I think it's, it's fairly easy. Uh, and it just, it felt like this could be, a, this would be an event that happens every year and this would be an easy way for me to engage with my organization uh, annually. So here, are everybody able to see my screen? Here's what we did last yes. year for our profile. Um, so we just have our logo at the top. I uh, kind of created a little header picture. We actually had a picture of the school before. So there's a lot of fun things you can do for like a, a picture at the very top. Um, but we like to include a testimonial section on our website to let people, let our donors read impact stories and quotes from students about you know, what kind of things their money are going towards. Um, and so that's something we always include every year. Um, but we also have a little YouTube video as well. Looks I've great. Uploaded some pictures. I don't think, yeah, we did not connect our Instagram account to our profile because we felt like oh, the pictures were a lot were the same, but what was in the media gallery. So we decided to kind of just do a media gallery and not have the Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, so it's it provides a decent amount of information, um, some light reading, but for the most part, as it should be, the focus is on how much money has been raised, how do I donate, stuff like that. It's, re it's really easy to navigate and get around. And Sarah and Josh, this is Carrie with a question that didn't get asked, but nonetheless, the fundraise button, is there an option? So if I'm a donor and I want to share that I 
donate it, you know, that I donated, I want other people to donate on behalf of this organization. Is that what that fundraise button is, or is that a possibility for me to easily, as a donor, share that information to encourage others? Um, you can share the organization, but the fundraising button um, is going to get people creating fundraising pages for you. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. That was a really great uh, representation of, of a good page. Um, okay, so if anyone else has any other questions, I don't think I see any more. Um, You're welcome to reach out to supports. Um, and then I'm going to upload this recorded webinar to your toolkit so you can refer to it um, at another time if you need to. So thank you everyone for attending. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.